sure a lot of people in here have seen that one as well. When you finish that, yeah. This, this audience is mainly my family. <laughs> so, I appreciate it, but it's, it's not as great. So I guess my question is, when, when you finish that one now, because I know you personally, I know you've got a lot of ideas that are all worthy of attacking as the next film. Is that is the, the one we just saw, was that the next in line? Or is that, was there a conscious decision to do one of that genre, so to speak? No, I, I had written another script, um, and uh, and you know you know the script, I'd send it to you, and it was a bigger film. I'd, I'd made The Little Death, and it was, uh, it was a small movie, you know, and I was like, I really want to do something bigger. I've got to do something bigger. It was another rom-com, but it was epic, you know, and I was like, and car chase, not car chase, but like there's, you know, horse riding and planes and all sorts of things, and, and it was getting close, and then it fell down, and this actor would be attached, and they'd pull out, and next thing I knew, five years ago, and I just couldn't make this movie. And I went, I'm so sick of this. This is crazy. Like, this is truly where the movie came from. And I was like, I am wasting my life on this. And, um, and so I went, I'm gonna write something cheap. I'm gonna write something that is mainly in my house. It's got a tiny cast. Um, and I went back through my list of ideas. I was like, oh yeah, man, that's kind of this idea. And I could sort of started to uh, fit into what, you know, the fact that I was, really struggling with um, you know life or the years passing and you know and I kind of get to the end of the year and I really do struggle remembering what I've done with the last year. I really genuinely do. And I wonder if I asked you now what were you doing in September? I struggle remembering, right? And, and that worries me if I can't remember if it has even happened. Um, so you're at the point now where budget's a factor because massive. now you know what you're writing you're actually gonna make. Right, and so I thought if I can if I can get the budget down low enough, but they don't have an excuse to say no. That that was that or a legitimate excuse, right? And so I went back to Jamie Hilton, who had um, produced The Little Death, and I said, "Hey, I'm going to send you a script. Uh, call me when you read it." I think he called me back later that day. He said, "I love it. Let's do it." I said, "Okay, but here's the one condition: you make it in the next eighteen months." And he went, "Done." And we he got it, mate. He. Finally got, you know, he got the budget, which is very little. And, um, and it, you know, and I thought it was gonna be an easy film, because I was like, it's really inside, there's not many actors. It was, uh, no. <laughs> I mean, it was way bigger than I thought it was on the page. Right. You know. Oh, yeah. Can I jump in, because, speaking of budget, wasn't this originally a play? Well, it, I had written it, um, I, 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 the idea was originally sort of, could be anything. It was like, I just wanted to make something. And so I, I had written it as a play because I thought, oh, this will be easy. This will be even easier to get up. No one's going to say, don't do a play. Um, I sent it to my agents in America and they, they were like, what is this? I go, oh, what do you want it to be? They go, I don't know. They were like, is it a play? I go, it could be. Uh, is it a movie? I go, it could be that as well. And they go, we don't like it. We, don't, we hate it. And I go, oh, really? And they're like, yeah, we hate it. Um, and we've got them here tonight. Yeah, they are. <laughs> It's true. No, it's really true. They said, oh, we don't, we don't like it. And I was like, oh, fuck this. I'm so <laughs> sick of hearing no. Like, I was just so tired of it. And I, I said, you know, I went, called my Australian agent and I said, hey, do you, want to, do you want to go around the dance floor again, another low budget movie? And she said, yeah, this is great. We could probably make this. And yeah, we just sort of, I, it was just about finding the people who would say yes. There are so many people who say no. Most of them, 99% will say no. No is the easiest answer, answer to any question because it doesn't require you to do anything after that. Yes is difficult because yes means then you have to act on it, right? So you've got to find those yes people because they're, the, they're more courageous. The cowards say no because it's like, no, get out, I'll do something else. And, and, um, and so I, yeah, I try to surround myself with people who say yes. <laughs>